Welcome back everybody to spin that clip. Today we're gonna be looking at some clips. What clip do you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be a demo man clip. If you guessed the left clip, you'd be yeah, correct. Come on, act like you haven't just seen what you already seen. <gasps> A Russian man! Oh, uh, we're actually on Dust Bowl. I love Dust Bowl. Oh, hello. Wow. Yeah, Dust Bowl is a great map. One of the favorites, one of the classics, one of my favorites. I really love Dust Bowl. Um, I've never played Demo Knight on Dust Bowl, so we're gonna take a gander at how awful this can be. Got these tight corridors to weave through. Maybe I'll be like a spy. Maybe I'll be creeping behind enemy lines. Let's do that. At least I got his teleporter. That's kind of the big deal there. Any, yeah, I honestly, dude, this might be a freaking butt cheeks map to try to demo night on. This is gonna be really bad. Ball inspector, balls, both of them. He inspects, but um, yeah. Before I got sidetracked by the inspector there, I don't think we're gonna do good at all. We might not perform in, to any capacity. I'm gonna go sneak up here though. This dude has no idea what's coming for him. What? I, how does that work? Dude, straight. Physics, he fizz gunned me. He took, he freaking took me and dragged me up into the ceiling, and I was stuck there, door stuck, and then he just killed me. He whipped me to death. That's insane. All right, well, I'm clearly not going to do anything. I may as well just leave. I'm going to give it one last shot. I'm going to give it one last chance. You got to try things a few times. Usually they say third time's the charm. We're on charm. We're on try four. So <laughs> that clearly isn't true. So we're going to try to maneuver in here, do a little manette. This guy's AFK. They took my kill. Thanks a lot. Uh, they took my kill again. Thanks a lot. Ooh, wait. Hold on. This perfect moment. I'm gonna do a little surprise attack. I'm gonna do a little peekaboo. I'm gonna do a little put of hands in front of my eyes and mess them up. Bloop, peekaboo. Mess them up. Hopefully that'll actually do something. Because usually I feel like the, the Zatoichi gang here does not do that much damage. It's kind of disgraceful. This guy's gonna see me. Yes! Finally upended that monster. Alright, well that's my last try on this map. I'm not going to continue to throw myself to the wolves. I'm out of this piece. Anywho, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm just going to fly up here. Oh yeah! That was really exhilarating. Now I'm a freaking short man. I'm short man! I'm a short guy. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Now we're working, dude. These guys are making me look like I'm good or something. These guys are making me look like I've played this game before. What the heck? What the heck? Get me out of here. Look at that. We did it, boys. Yeah, so this game is just very... I love Demo Night because it's kind of exhilarating to play. You get up in the business, you get, you get crazy. You go crazy up in the business, man. Getting down and dirty. And I'm all about getting down and dirty in some Team Fortress 2. I do plenty of that simply just playing the game because there's a lot of interesting people in here. So, yeah, so we're. Ooh, he's got a sentry. I'm going the other way to that dude. I love the ragdolls. Those are my favorite part of this game. Ragdolling. Kind of at a loss here. We got people that just have. are locking down zones right now. There's a sentry up there. There's that guy shooting at me for whatever reason. This guy's trying to do a trick stab. Very cool. Very. Look, they're just. They're having like. It's having a similar situation here. That dude's trying to blow me. Dude's blowing me all over the place. You're obvious. What the heck? What's going on here? Dude stabbed my fingernail. Counted as a backstab. He had the nail clippers out, cleaned up my nails, and I got. I counted as a backstab. Also, an editor's note I was trying to find nail clipping MP3 and looked it up on YouTube. Terrible decision. Don't do it. Not worth it. Ain't happening again! Ain't happening again, baby! That felt really good. How- How the heck am I- How am I in this guy?! There we go. I mean, holy cow. Dude should not have lived. Jacob the Lord. Alright, dude. Sorry, your backstabbing sucks. Congratulations. How is he still alive?! There we go. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good anyways. When I was really young, I played a lot of Demo Knight. I actually loved them. I had this exact loadout here. 
and I it was actually really cool. I might find a picture of it. I had a collector's tide turner. I had I don't I don't think I had a collector's of toy cheap, but I had some really cool set as some middle school high school student. And I loved Demo Knight. I don't know if I was any good, but I loved him, so I got a bunch of stuff for him. But anyways, re that, it's been a while, is what I'm trying to say. So it's good to to be back and, and trying new things. This guy is trying to maneuver. I'm I'm not jumping on the stairs, dude. I know better. I don't. I clearly don't know better how to hit this guy. All right, I'm at a disadvantage. So they have quite a lockdown hold. They got some lockdown D, as as we as we say in the, uh, the industry here. They got lockdown D up on this payload. And um, ooh, look at that! That dude did a trick trick sap. How, how did that heavy n not know? Holy cow! All right, now we're up to work here. How is he still living? All right, you're next, pal. All right, now we're going to work, man. You just fly around this corner here. Nobody. Not happening. I should go up here because there's health up here. Look at that, got the health. Where's this guy thinking? What's this goober thinking? What are you thinking, pal? It's literally threatening a man with a gun. With your fist. Alright. Alright, we're just... I don't, I'm just, I'm lagging, I don't even know what's happening. I'm just lagging right- give me some help, please. Stat, need it. Dead people are appearing in front of me. So we've, we've come quite a long way from the slicing and dicing flies midair. I'm feeling really, really good about that. I might actually go and buy just a kill streak. um... A kill streak. what's his bob, just to... These, these guys don't know. I might buy a kill streak. what's my bob, just to see how many kills I can get in one lobby. Gas myself up a little bit. It, everybody knows you hit that little 5, 10 kill streak. Man, you got your fingers waggling in the air. You're, you're getting excited. You're saying, woo! And that's how you feel when you have the kill streak going. If I can't see the kill streak, I might get a big one. I might not have one. It doesn't matter to me. I can't see anything. So. Probably the worst last point for Demo Knight in, in the history of the last points for Demo Knight. Awful last point. Look at this. I, I, how am I supposed to get to the team? I just can't do it. All right, so I'm going to have to strategize. Maybe I'll go low and then go up. They won't expect the low up. Ooh, mama. Look at that. Man, this dude just doesn't... has no idea. I didn't have any idea any either. I had no clue. But yeah, so I'm... Dude, I'm enjoying Demo Night right now. And I, I bet if I played Demo Night enough and I learned how to do the little trimp... I don't even know why we call it a trimp. Let's just call it a trip. When you trip up stuff... I'll be, I'll be, um, I'll be having a blast, man. You know, one thing I really miss from Demo Man that they've stolen from me is they used to make it so... Oh, what the heck? Dude just blasted me! They used to make it so, back in the day, the Kaber, you guys might remember, did more damage. So I used to, I loaded up with the Sticky Jumper and had the, the Kaber, and I was just flying all over the map just kamikaze bombing people. I was up there dropping the fat man, dropping the little man, dropping all the, the SAR bomb just on everybody and getting a million kills. It was a lot of fun. And then they nerfed it, so it kind of ruined that fun. You, are you lacking brain function? I like it. Oh, there's a scout on the last point. Freaking bamboozled that guy. That was pretty good. He thought I was going the other way. I wasn't. Surprise. Actually, they don't. A spy here! Where'd he go? Freaking slammed into that invisible wall, man. Well, mime must. They must have laid a mime trap card down there. I'm gonna hit somebody with one of these, dude. Dang it! Alright, so here's the plan. Killing that demo man, not getting headshot by the sniper. 
I'm actually gonna go get him right here. Turned on the lag switch there real quick, man. You know, it's just, there's no winning with Demo Knight for me. I don't know if it's my internet connection, I don't know if it's the game, I don't know if it's other people. Certainly, certainly isn't me. That's all I'm, ooh, look at that. That's a gnarly spin. I'm putting myself in the right positions. I'm hitting the right clips. I'm swinging the sword in the right position. I'm hitting the freaking sword spot. I'm putting it in the sword spot, man. I'm not getting any kills with it, though. What's going on here? All right, round two, you're getting it this time, Tubby. Come here. There we go. What? See, another thing, man. The sword, just like, that wasn't me, was it? My sword was there, and I, I had messed him up. What is, what is this dude doing that I'm not, man? I put that sword to butter. It was like a knife to butter with him, man. I went straight through him. Spectre. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Anymore it isn't. Looks like we're losing. We gotta contest, boys. Ugh. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. As you know on this channel, I love leaving you with something of a little more substance. I love posting videos that are goofy and fun like this, and I hope you enjoyed it. But I want to leave you with something that you could think about. Something that you could relate to. Something that you could learn from. Recently, I was watching a video by a pre-modernist, and he had discussed... There were two people talking on a podcast, having opposing views. He just wanted to describe how to deal with people, sometimes, with opposing views. And... How he, how he talked about it was, it kind of related a little bit to my beliefs and how I, how I view things. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you. I feel like sometimes we fo are, are so focused on why people have something wrong. Or we heard like the thing that they believe in so many times that we have like this automatic response that dismisses them. But sometimes we forget that they're not us. They haven't heard everything that we've heard. They haven't learned everything that we've learned. They haven't seen everything that we've seen. And instead of maybe having a jerk reaction to say, okay, well, listen here, pal, you're dumb. We should instead uh, approach them and engage them with a conversation of learning, well, why do they believe the way they believe? Why do they think the way they think? And I believe that from that, you can either bring them to a conclusion that you agree is truth, or in some cases, maybe even learn the truth. Maybe you were on the wrong side. Um, so I kind of just think it follows just this idea of, of being humble. Not being proud, not being puffed up in who you are and your accomplishments and what you've done and what you know. Um, but taking the, the soft approach of giving someone the time of day to love them, to listen to them, to hear them out. And express how you feel about those things. Or... Just sometimes spend time listening. Sometimes it's good just to listen to people. You don't always have to respond to them. You don't always have to give them something. Just it's good. Some people just want someone to, to, to share something with. Um, but I know I'm kind of getting off a lot of uh, a little bit of off topic with that. Moral of the story: If you find yourself in some sort of discussion or discourse or disagreement, spend some time learning a little bit about why that person believes the way they believe rather than automatically just responding in something that you maybe you've heard a bunch or responding in a way that you disregard that person. Um, just approach them in a way of just wanting to learn from them. And I believe that that'll lead to many fruitful altercations. So that's what I got. Have a good day. Deuces.